Chicks are definitely digging the beard. We're talking about Gears of War Judgment. Brand new gears. I thought the series was over. Tears in my eyes. You guys <laughs> surprised me with a brand new gears. What do we have in store this time around? Oh, I have a whole new story. It's, uh, you know, 14 years before E-Day. It's the story of Baird when he led Kilo Squad. He's in trouble. He did some stuff wrong. You play the testimony of his court case where you get to find out why he got there. And so you get old favorites with Cole and Baird and some new characters like Darren Paddock, who's our UIR refugee, and he's kind of the devil on Baird's shoulder. And we got Sophia Hendrick, who's the Onyx Cadet by the book, and she's the angel on his shoulder. And you play through that experience and see what happened. Why was Baird the perfect character to surround this game around? We told Marcus and Dom's story, definitely. Cole had his flashback in the locker room in Gears 3. We felt like we really hadn't gone home, if you will, with Baird. Now, with the Gears franchise, multiplayer is a huge success all the way around. Are you guys going to be adding anything new you can talk about in the multiplayer? One of the big things is Overrun. We actually make the COG class-based. So rather than just normal Gears soldiers, you actually have a medic, a soldier, a scout, an engineer. And you actually work together with special abilities to take on attacking locusts. And then one of the big things we're talking about is in the campaign, we have these dynamic defense scenarios. Where you'd be going along and you're moving through a level and all of a sudden it's like, hold this area for the next five minutes and then you get a wave after wave of locusts and you have to use these portable fortifications and put them down to have this little horde moment. Obviously, with the Gears of War series, the game's based around characters that are so scary in actual real life that I don't want to come across. <laughs> right. Can we expect more of the same and even bigger this time around? We're really focused on creating this moment-to-moment -moment intensity rather than just this one big intense moment. We're trying to do it all the way through. They have this thing called the Smart Spawn System, what they call S3, which is great because as you play, it'll dynamically change what spawns and where. And if you die and replay, it actually changes it up so it feels like a different mission. And they even have this really cool system called the Declassification System. So when you play the testimony, there's parts of it that are classified. And then when you go along, you go, did you know that Kilo actually fought this battle with only pistols? And if you choose to declassify it, that makes it more challenging, but it reveals the true testimony. And so you get to go play and try to attempt that challenge. So it's like what we call sweaty palms, what we want all the way through. Put the razors away and get your beard on. <laughs> Here's the war judgment's coming.